the UEFA Champions League is back. This is Real Madrid's favorite tournament and ours as well. This season, there will be a new format and new challenges for the team. Let's listen to Carlo Ancelotti's words ahead of the Real Madrid versus Stuttgart match. Real Madrid, the Champions League champion, starts its participation in the tournament. How excited and motivated are you to start this tournament? We have the same motivation as always. It's the excitement we have to play this tournament, a tournament in which this club has been a protagonist for a long time and continues to be one. So it's the same as always. This is a special tournament for us, and we'll try to fight until the end, as we always do. Carvajal said, when they prick you, you bleed, referring to Vinicius. What do you think of that? Do you have any updates on Bellingham? But what's your question, that Bellingham or the other one? Please answer either one you prefer. Bellingham is fine, as our Chomani and Militao, who didn't train today because he needed one more day to recover. Two important players are back, but unfortunately we've lost another important player, though I think the rest of the team is in good shape to try to play a good game tomorrow and we'll try to start this tournament by winning. Regarding Vinny, it's a reaction to a very bad previous action. This has happened many times in Spain against him from the beginning. They insult him and, and, and it's very hard to endure. I wouldn't put up with it. The fact that he made the finger gesture is very normal given everything happening around him. You've managed over 200 games at Real Madrid in four seasons. After the departure of Cristiano, Benzema, Casemiro and Ramos, the absence of Tony Cross is the hardest blow the team has suffered in recent years. The matter of Tony Cross is something that's done and forgotten. As I've said before, we have to look forward. We know well that he's an irreplaceable player. We have to focus on the players we have who will undoubtedly do very well, just as Cross did for a long time at this club. What is the defensive role of the forwards? Are you satisfied with their work? Ideally, the forwards should score goals. The midfielders should help both in defense and attack. The defenders should defend and the goalkeepers should stop shots. That would be the perfect, ideal world. Obviously, to have a compact team, the help of the forwards is necessary. Let me, uh, let me think what else I can say. If the forward defends more than the defender, then we have a problem. If the goalkeeper touches the ball more than the midfielder, then there's another problem. For now, we're fine in this context. Defensively, I think we can do better, although we haven't done so badly because in six games we've conceded only one goal in open play. The other was from a set piece. Having four clean sheets in six matches is not bad. We're seeing many injuries in the team. From the technical area, are you studying any methods or making changes to avoid injuries? We're looking for solutions and we'll do what we can, but the real problem is with the tight schedule. Now a new tournament with a new format is starting and nobody knows how it will turn out. It may be more entertaining than last year's, but the data shows that we'll have to play at least two more games in this tournament. So if the organizations in charge don't start realizing that players are getting injured because they're playing too much, 
then we have a problem. I'm just asking them to stop and think about reducing the number of matches to make the tournaments more attractive. You recently said that the situation Vinny is going through is very hard to bear, but it seems that Vinicius is being blamed when he reacts. Have you heard this? Yes, of course, that's the reality. Everything that has happened to Vinicius over the years and what I've seen since I arrived is something that can't be endured. I can understand booing an opponent but when they start booing and insulting, even during warm-up, who can endure that? This situation here is not normal. It's simply not normal. So I think it's more appropriate to focus on what's happening in the stadiums rather than on this young player. Why do they do this to Vinicius? Simply because they know Vinny is a threat in sporting terms and they try to throw him off his game during matches. After six games played, what do you think the team needs to improve and what concerns you the most? I, have full, it, I think after these six games, we should have two more points on the table, but, this, so, but we are where we wanted to be. We've already won the first title of the season. It was predictable that we could have some problems because some players only arrived on August 9th. In football years ago, we had five weeks of preseason to train. So you would train for five weeks and then the season would start. Technically, to properly prepare a player to be at his best level, you need five weeks. If you do the math from August 9th, uh, the five weeks in roughly today. So all this time has been like a preseason for us. And now we need to improve. I think we are progressing steadily and we will compete this season just as we did last season. Barcelona has shown good form in these first few games of the season. Does that worry you? Well, they are a rival we respect, just as we respect uh, Atletico Madrid, Villarreal, and others. We must respect all opponents who are playing well, and that's true for all the teams working hard at the moment. You are the reigning champions of the Champions League. Compared to the squad you had last season, although there haven't been many changes, do you think you have a better squad than last year to try to win the title again? Well, the squad is what you've seen we have now. We've lost two very important players, Tony Cross and Nacho, and we can't forget Joselu either. But they've been replaced by the best player in the world, or one of the best. So if you ask me if we have a better squad than last season, I would say yes. In your opinion, which teams are the favorites to win the Champions League this season? The favorite teams are always the same, although the tournament format is different, the favorites remain the same including Real Madrid. But there could be others. We can be favorites because we won last season. But this Champions League has its own story. And I hope we can go all the way, just like last year. If I'm not mistaken, it's been 27 years in the Champions League since 1997 with Parma. I don't know. How do you manage to keep the same excitement intact? What drives you to keep working like this? The excitement is still the same as always. And because for me, this is also a very special tournament, as it is for this club. As I've said many times before, the daily work, being here, working with the players, 
preparing the training sessions, trying to deal with all the problems that come up every day. Fortunately, I consider myself a very patient person because every day there's a problem to solve. Uh, although, honestly, not all of them are, are problems. And sometimes they're just little things to resolve, but we label them as problems, just like we do with many things in life. Um, in life, many trivial things happen, but we see them as problems. We've seen that Militao didn't train with the group today. He played in the match against Real Sociedad and seemed fine at the time. Do you think he'll be able to play tomorrow? Why didn't he train today? He didn't train with us today because we thought he deserved one more day of rest. He was working individually but didn't train with the ball like the rest of his teammates, but he'll be available to play for sure. While you were at Bayern Munich, you overlapped with Sebastian Honis, who was coaching the club's academy. Do you have any memories of working together at the club? What do you think of Stuttgart under his management? Appreciate you asking me about Stuttgart. This, just, this is the first question about them. Yes, of course, I remember him. He's undoubtedly done a fantastic job since last year. And that's why they're competing in this tournament. The fact that they're coming here to play tomorrow is a confirmation of his fantastic work with the club. They are a good team, very well organized and well prepared, so tomorrow we'll see an entertaining match for everyone. Thank you.